We are getting ready. Paul Cahill, our match referee from the Dun & Magan Club, is out in the middle of the field, just about to throw the ball in shortly. Dixborough uh, looks like that they are going to be playing from left to right down into the O'Loughlin's end as we look at it Tullerher playing into the town goal Mickey Welch of course uh, KCLR fame uh, and our analysis on many a hurling game with Brendan Hennessy is over the Dixborough team and Pat Hartley of course one of the selectors and coaches with Tullahar Ross Birkin both men have won All-Ireland titles with Kilkenny at senior under 21 minor and intermediate level as well so we're getting ready here shortly there's a bit of argy bargy going on out around the middle of the field it's good to see that fellas getting to how you one another and all that kind of stuff so Paul Cal just taking a look around and we're getting on game is on here in UPMC Nolan Park and straight away it's Dixborough on the attack here with Killian Hackett dispossessed though out around the middle of the field there by Jamie Ling and Tullahar really up for this early on but Jamie loses possession can he get it back again that's over there at the far sideline there's an unfair shoulder says referee Paul Cahill and there will be a first free of the day to Tullahar Ross Birkin inside the Dixborough 45 metre line over on the far side of the field and a chance here for we can see shortly it's very hard to see the numbers up here Danny Glennon that's going out to take the free coming out from full forward yeah number 14 on his back there Danny Glennon is coming out to take take this early free so you know if they can get this it'll really settle Tullaher's nerves there in the first couple of minutes difficult chance though he's out on the sideline he's only about a metre or two in from it a good distance out from it but bitterly cold afternoon here in UPMC Nolan Park the chill is in the air it's heading in and it's going to tail off and it's gone to the right and wide so that's the first wide on the board and it goes to Tullahar so a missed opportunity there for the guys from Tullahar but that won't let them affect him too much as we just have one minute and nine seconds played on the clock here in UPMC Nolan Park Michael Clark Dixborough goalkeeper getting ready to take it it's good it's long it's high it's down in the face of the Dixborough half forward line but it's won in the middle of the field there by Jamie Ling Jamie sending a good ball up here into the corner forward position up there towards the number 12 that's Niall Mooney Niall has ball on Hurley he's going forward does a little pirouette but does a pirouette into trouble one handed scoop along might work out well here for the Dixborough men but uh, no it's actually possession being overturned Danny Glennon is coming he has an advantage coming here that's yeah. definitely a free he's been held back as he was going through he broke onto a breaking ball there got it up on the whole first time and this is an easier chance now on you certainly is and some really good work there worked by Danny Glennon himself he you know he was nearly true and I suppose Dixworth had no option but they had to foul him because it was near on certain goal chance there if he did get past them um, some really good work there Larry Murphy distributing a really good ball out to the wing there Tullher seemed to be really up for it and you know they're not they're not letting um, the, the physicality of this Dixworth team push them around no and Danny having a look out of this game brought to you today with thanks to UPMC or even hospital delivering life changing medicine and trust care close to home Danny out on the 20 metre line having a look at the post he's putting it in umpires are taking a look and there's no doubt about that one that's the first score on the board it goes to Danny Glennon it's a free and we just have over two and a half minutes gone on the clock here in UPMC Nolan Park and Tullerher are a point to the good ahead yeah really good point there from Danny Glennon and this will really start to fire up Tullaher you know they've started definitely in the last in the first two or three minutes they've started stronger as that's a really good ball pulled along the ground there by Dixborough but it looks like the Tullaher men are going to drive out with this ball there's a bit of a schmuzzle there on the just uh, inside the half forward line as it looks like Dixborough good is block, there yeah, yeah. But it's coming here, might break down towards the number 15 over there, that's Kyle Marr. Kyle, of course, brother of Kirsty Marr, who you know played on goal in the intermediate final in 2016 with the girls, but there's a push in the back there, says our match referee Paul Cahill, and a chance here for Dixborough now to level matters up again on the 20 metre line as we take a look and just see who's coming over to take this free I imagine it's, it's Harry Shine coming over. Yeah. It is, yes, it mm-hmm. is indeed Harry. People will know Harry, of course. He was the team captain of the Kilkenny minor team that won the Leinster final this year. A great player is Harry and just with a couple of minutes to spare he might level things up he does indeed without a shadow of a doubt that's a nice easy one there for Harry Shine and the teams are level here in UPMC Nolan Park for the first time with just a little over three minutes played on you yeah a really good point there for Harry Shine but excellent work there by Kyle Maher in the in the corner there you know he just got in front of his player there to ensure that he was going to get the, the foul so excellent results there and that'll certainly keep things balanced yeah there's a great ball again into Danny Glennon he has it in his hand first time he's been fouled again there's an advantage 
Blanchett coming Glennon certainly winning that exchange first that's a great score in there by Danny Glennon he was being fouled again when he was going through by Mick Carroll and already on you Mick Carroll is in trouble because Danny Glennon has the measure of him in there in full forward he certainly has you know he's got two really good opportunities the first one they had no choice but to foul him because he was going straight on for goal and an excellent delivery down into the corner he just turned his player you know Mick Carroll is really going to be on his oh lovely stick work there in the middle of the field there by the number nine that's Kevin Elward there's another free again on Danny Glenn and Paul Cahill was a good bit out but he saw that there was a jersey pull there as he was looking down the field and that's the third free in a row that Mick Carroll is after giving away on Danny Glennon and he is directly in front of the post on the 20 metre line and an easy chance here again for Danny to extend Tullerher's lead Tullerher has started really really well mm-hmm. in this game on you they're certainly up for this you wouldn't think it was their first ever A County final Nerves, you think might get the better of them but that's an easy one for Danny that's three points in a row two frees and a point from play and Tullerher are good three points to the one ahead with over five minutes played here in UPMC Northern Park yeah another really good score there by Danny Glenn and he worked at himself he created the free but just look at the amount of space that Tullerher men are actually giving Danny Glenn inside there and I would imagine that this is a tactic of theirs because they know that if he gets the ball he can certainly take on any Dick's verb defender yeah that's Killian Hackett that's out there around the middle of the field good play there though by the Tullerher men they're surrounding him not fouling him but here comes uh, Declan O'Farrell who has come out from full forward he's bearing down on goal lovely little hand pass across here to Harry Shine Harry straight in front of the post on his own puts it in and puts it over the bar good work there between the full forward and the centre forward and Borough reduces the gap here three points to two good start to this game on you yeah brilliant run there by Declan O'Farrell and you know knew that there was a player in a better position and who else only to pop up only Harry Shine and he's certainly not going to miss from that side out but great score and well worked there as we um, have now Tom McPhillips driving that ball up up into the corner there ball, up yeah. to Matthew Kelleher who looks like he's going to round his player yeah he's, he's gone there's a foul Cahill. coming he's still going through going in on goal and it's wide but there's an advantage coming Paul Cahill has pulled back the free there was no advantage coming there to Matthew Kelleher he rounded around Kev- or David Kendi back there in the full back line and again both full backs on you mm-hmm. are having a torrid time that was a great run that time by Matthew Kelleher yeah really good run made a nice tight angle for himself he was going in Tuller I suppose they had to kind of foul him because he was getting he was getting too close into that goal we can see Harry Shine is after popping over his uh, third, third point yep. of the day to two from free so it really is starting to be a shootout between himself and Danny Glenn and two guys that be very familiar with each other both being on the minor scene this year well a little over six minutes gone here teams are level for the second time in UPMC Nolan Park great starts to this game as the ball is sent out there by Andrew Murphy out around the middle of the field Dixborough are after winning that one and that is there with uh, Michael Steins Michael is sending it down here towards Matthew Kelleher it'll break here towards Harry Shine though on his left hand side doesn't even really look at the post puts it in ah that's a lovely Release. score yeah. there by Harry Shine with ease he just popped the ball in popped it over the bar great score there by the centre forward excellent score there by Harry Shine he just makes it look so effortless, uh, effortlessly when he gets that ball I feel like he has been given maybe a little bit too much space as well so you know Lar Murphy is really I know he's a dominant player for Tuller but he's really going to have to as he look wins that ball there and drives out forward that surely has to be a free with the referee is letting it play on as he gets the ball over there to Nile, Nile Mooney yeah. and he and Nile Mooney's lovely hand run. pass out here towards the number 11 it is for Tullerher that goes in and it's over the bar that's Ryan Murphy good link up play there between Mooney and Murphy down at the far side of the field and again with just over 7 minutes gone on you teams are level here for the third time yeah you know it's, it's just the, the match has started off so brightly in the first less than 10 minutes played and you know it really is tit for tat and you know both teams are really riled up for this game and you know I, I have to feel like Tullerher really have just started off really really well as to see another ball being pumped in here to Danny Glennon but Dixworth seem to have their wits about them they're after dropping back there looks like Johnny Keane is playing the um, sweeper role there just in front of Danny Glennon oh there's danger here now as that ball goes in over the top just a little too hard for Matthew Kelleher that time and uh, Andrew Murphy deals with that he's sending it back out around towards the far side of the stand over there it, Tullerher still has possession but it's out over the sideline Colin Tobin is the linesman over there he has his flag up and it will be a line ball to Dixborough at the far side of the field good pressure there by the Dixborough forwards to push the Tullerher man fairly I have to say out over the sideline and it will be a line ball to Dixborough on the Tullerher 45 metre line it's 
uh, an easy chance well I won't say it's an easy chance but it's certainly a chance for the uh, Dixborough player that's gone over to take that I think it's Sean Keenan is over there it's, it's great a cut. great cut but oh. it just hasn't got the accuracy it's gone to the right and wide and that is Dixborough's first wide of the game and four points to their name already a great start here and very entertaining stuff already on you certainly is and that was a great sideline cut there just you know fell short on the accuracy there but what a sideline cut and excellent start to the game that's oh what a, a great catch. catch and what a shoulder there as well that's excellent fielding um, there from the number five Aidan Lawler up yeah to great Tullerous catch Ferkin. by Jamie Ling again it's put in there but that's dealt very well there by Cahill Mooney Cahill coming away with it tries to hand pass it to himself doesn't work out heavy tackle there and referee says that there will be a free out to the Tullerhar men for a high tackle there on Cahill Mooney as he was coming out and a chance for Tullerhar to clear their lines and Paul Cahill is going to have a word and maybe it's going to be more than a word on it he has the little black book out mm-hmm. over there at the far side of the field and no yeah, it's just a, a stern warning there for Conor Kavanagh probably just telling him no more of that or he'll be getting a yellow card for himself Cahill Mooney is down on his uh, haunchers on the far side of the field waiting for the team medic for Tullahar to go over and give him a bit of attention it was a fair old shot over there I see Pat Hartley is over at the far side just making sure that he's okay as well with Cahill I don't think is uh, going to want to go off he'll be up and on his feet very shortly and ready to resume his position back in at full back Mm-hmm. It's a great pass to play there coming out from you know he caught such a brilliant ball there on his on his own full back line and you know he took you know two or three heavy attack uh, heavy tackles on the way out there so you know he's bound to be a little bit winded so he's after starting off really really well in the first couple of minutes you could have said that, oh yeah. here's a chance comes to Jamie Ling ball yeah, broke score. great play there by Jamie Ling he waited for that it was batted away by Danny Glennon who put up the hurl and a great score for Jamie Ling in the right place at the right time yeah excellent score there by Tuller and you know uh, really good after a, a good you know momentum building tackle coming out there from Cahal Mooney for Jamie Ling to pop it over the bar really good start for Turtle at Russ Bergen yep Tullahar are ahead 5 points to 4 with just over 10 minutes gone here as Dixborough are coming on the attack that ball is sent in there towards uh, Kyle Mar. is it over there or is it uh, Matthew Kelleher Matthew Kelleher, like. Matthew Kelleher referee says there's no foul there Tullahar dealing with it with the number 7 that's Padraig Dooley coming away trying to send it down to Danny Glennon but two Dixborough players collide with one another but they manage to retain possession ball is here now with Sean Keenan Sean is sending a low ball in around the house in there won't really reach it dispossessed but it'll come back here towards the number 13 with a long looping hand pass out that's Billy Fitzpatrick out to Harry Shine and again Harry is having a look but I don't think that's going to be accurate this time no it's not it's out to the left hand side of the post and wide for a second wide for Dixborough it was a chance he got a great score out there earlier on but maybe that one was just that's had a little bit too difficult yeah certainly is but you can see every time that the ball comes into in into the Dixborough Dixborough forward line. They're always looking for Harry Shine, like he's because he's constantly roaming, he's constantly running around, like and he seems to be a little bit too free as well as we see here now. That's the number seven. Tom McPhillips just took a little bit of a little bit of a, a knock there, but he's drive that ball up and he gets it into Matthew Keller, who's causing serious oh, problems in there. That's is wide. It? Yep, it's looks like that's going wide. Yeah, he's seen um, Matthew Keller seems to be kind of sitting in the full forward line. He does seem to be causing a little bit of um, you know trouble in there for Carl Mooney. But you can look at the height difference that we're looking at in there you know he's he's a fine big tall like David and Goliath in there yeah, really yeah exactly but you know I'd say Carl Mooney he'll, uh, he'll stick it into him anyway and he'll keep going well you know what they say good things come in small packages so Carl will certainly be hoping that he's going to have a good game he has so far good block down out around the middle of the field they're breaking here with Tullahar as that is Niall Mooney going forward trying to take a look around in there towards the number 11 that's Ryan Murphy but digs for a deal with it and send the ball back down the other end of the field and it's dispossessed over there by JJ Ryan who manages to bat it down but it only comes as far as Dixborough as the ball is sent in there by Conor Kavanagh will break here towards Harry Shine again he has his fist up in the air he knew straight away that the ball was in and over the bar and that's a fifth point already for Harry Shine and the teams are level here in UPMC Nolan Park for the fourth time with 13 minutes gone on the clock five points apiece yeah another really good score there from um, Harry Shine he's just he's just sitting out there in that pocket waiting for the little hand pass back what a catch 
there by the number 10 Connor Kavanagh from Dick Spurs he drives that ball in and you've got a bit of a eruption there with Kyle Maher and it looks like it's Matthew Kelleher yeah, again he's coming away with it that's turning Look, on his yeah, left it's a great score. score by Matthew Kelleher done all the work himself went in for the dirty ball done a little pirouette around on his left hand side put it in and over the bar Dixborough go ahead 6 points to 5 and we really have a cracking opening 13 and a half minutes here in UPMC in this Kilkenny Honda Centre minor A Hurling County final as the ball is sent out around the middle of the field again here kicked in front of uh, one of the Dixborough players down there that's uh, Killian Hackett the team captain there's a scrum ensuing for it on the stand side of the field here linesman uh, is pointing that's John Welch down there said it's going to be a Dixborough ball uh, I don't know I have me doubts about that one now but John mm. was certainly closer to the play than we are up here in the commentary position and he says it will be a Dixborough ball and not too many complaints I suppose down there is Sean Keenan getting ready to take it it's a great sideline put in around the house in there might bounce there for Andrew Murphy it does kindly into his hand he deals with it by sending it out around the half forward line there to Ryan Murphy who was after coming down from the half forward line back to his own half back line there but it's dealt with by Dixborough Dixborough coming away with it now again here with Sean Keenan Sean sending the ball in again towards Matthew Kelleher they're trying to get Matthew on as much ball down here as they can that's a push in the back surely yes it is by Cahill Mooney a little too eager Cahill is saying what did I do that time but from here it looked like that was a blatant foul there by the full back and another easy chance here for Harry Shine to put Tullerher two points ahead and maybe just that little fraction he could have held on a little bit because Matthew wasn't really going very far that time no and to be fair I'm going to have the full back I'm going to have the full back side here now on that I do think that Matthew Kelleher really played for that free you know <laughs> I think he did kind of maybe have a little uh, jump forward there I think uh, Cahill Mooney was definitely putting so enough pressure so you wouldn't give it and I, I wouldn't I give it myself I personally wouldn't have given it but that's me just going from a full back's point of view I, I do think he was holding him up but you know I think Matthew Kelleher got the, got the, the cuteness out there and uh, just did a little uh, dummy uh, push forward um, so yeah well worked listen to Dixborough after getting the, the score there from it anyway well Harry Shine converts that one and they do go ahead here uh, to no, like, they really need to be a little bit tighter on them well you are listening to KCLR 96 FM live here from UPMC Nolan Park this broadcast brought to you with thanks to UPMC or even hospital delivering life changing medicine and trusted care close to home and as on you said a great catch out from the puck out there by Andrew Murphy and Tullerher have themselves a free and a chance to reduce the margin here by a solitary point as Lara Murphy is coming up from centre back he's inside the Dixborough 65 metre line probably I'd say 5-6 metres in so not an easy chance he certainly has the accuracy not the distance but the ball bounces in around oh. pulls on in around the square there it's lifted up Danny Glenn oh. goal for Danny Glenn and he ran onto that ball and we said he hadn't done much since the 4th minute of the first half but he certainly broke onto that one Danny Glenn in his back 1-5 to Tullerher 7 points to Dixborough and just like that on you Tullerher ahead yeah excellent excellent goal there by Danny Glenn and I suppose like you know the ball dropped so short and there was 2 or 3 Tullerher Tuller Ross Burke and men around us but uh, you know you probably don't want anybody oh, else and that's great a brilliant catch, catch there and look what it's after doing it's after building up the momentum there great catch there by Jamie, Jamie Ling Jamie Ling excellent as you see the ball is driven back down here and it looks like that's Niall Mooney he's sending it in but that's oh. a wayward chance for Niall Mooney that was a chance it's only taller her second wide of the uh, afternoon here but a chance that could have put him even further ahead but taller her as you said you can see that that goal has really spurred them on and it's spurred the crowd on at the far side as well we have to say decent crowd in here mm-hmm. for the minor A county final today yeah really good crowd in you can see a lot of black and amber people there so you know obviously people in taller her are very excited about this why wouldn't they be it's a great occasion for these men and their first Ryan A county final so I'm sure there's huge support oh, there oh good block there boy uh, that was Carl Mooney on uh, Matthew Kelleher that time it's dispossessed and it's sent down the far side of the field what a great catch, catch there by the number 15 that's Sean Ryan sending it in referee says there's no foul this time Tullerher management was looking for a free on Danny Glenning there but Paul Cahill is unmoved and he's still playing on and so is the players over the far side of the field there's a scrum ensuing Forrest Tullerher are going to come away with it a lovely little hand pass out the side door back but he's putting himself into trouble and the ball is out over the line and the Tullerher fella saying there's a foul now there's a bit of argy bargy going on over there something that we like to see another player from Dixborough Sean or Connor Kavanagh trying to get in on the act as well over there nothing malicious or acting in it just teenagers roiled up and ready to go again and it will be a line ball over in the far side of the field 
and it's Sean Keenan is going over to take it and we know that he has a fantastic line ball he has a uh, Asked the linesman where he can place it. Linesman Colin Tobin is telling him to go back a small bit closer, nearer to the 65 metre line. Difficult chance, but again, sent cross field in. Lovely pass there by Connor uh, or by uh, Sean Keenan, it is, over here towards the number 14. That's Declan O'Farrell. Declan O'Farrell bursting forward, going for the score and getting it. Good play there by the big full forward. Declan O'Farrell, he persisted, even though there was two players around him, and he put the ball in and put it over the bar. Teams are level for the fifth time here in UPMC Nola Park, on you. Yeah, good response there from Dick's where from Declan O'Farrell. I suppose they really needed to get a score, a score on the board after that Danny Glennon goal as we see here the ball's been poked out and what another brilliant absolutely fantastic catch there by uh, Matthew Murphy. Murphy that's the second catch he's after catching there out of nowhere and he's had two or three dicks for lads hanging out of him and brilliant catch and he's was big tall man he was that's why you know um, you have Andrew Murphy there is, is driving that ball right down on top from there knowing that they can utilise that and it looks like it's Danny Glennon that's going to come out here to take this free Yes, he has 1-3 to his name already. Going for 1-4. Bang on the 65-metre line for Dixborough. Not an easy chance here for Danny, but the sun is in his eyes, even though the sun is shining. It is a bitterly cold afternoon here in UPMC. Nolan Park, Dixborough are playing with a very slight advantage in towards the O'Loughlin Gales end of the t- ground here. Danny is going for it. Is it good? I looks think okay. it is on you. Yeah, yeah. Looks good. Umpires are going for the flag. That's 1-4 to Danny Glennon, and it's extends uh, Tullerher's lead out just one point they're now ahead again 1-6 to 8 points after 19 minutes of play yeah brilliant score there right Danny Glenn I suppose he knew he had the distance in it and you know it just snuck in um, in between the posts there excellent excellent score and you know keeping Tuller Ross Burke and tipping away that's a good little flick there um, that was Larry Larry Murphy, Murphy. Yeah. That was in there yeah it comes here towards the number 10 that is uh, Marty Murphy but Paul Cattle says that there was a, a foul in there that he threw the ball up and caught it I think is the what the referee is indicating there and it's a, an easy chance maybe he caught the ball three times as well one way or another it is a foul and it will be a chance here for Harry Shine who already has six points to his name at centre forward he's just inside the taller 65 metre line his usual lifting it's it wide, sending it in it? but it's gone yeah. to the left and wide yep yeah, good call on you you saw that from here so four wides there for Dixborough now only two wides for Tullahar Ross Birkin Tullahar of course are a point ahead 1-6 that's a total of 9 points to Dixborough's 8 points 20 just coming up to 21 minutes gone on the clock here in UPMC Nolan Park as that ball is sent out again towards Marty Murphy bounces off the helmet this time it's in open play there as Dixborough try to get onto it there with Fionn McGarry Kicks the ball forward, tries to pick it up. There's three Tullahar men, those surrounding him. Number five down there, that's Michael Steins, comes away with it. Hand passes out across there towards Killian Hackett. Killian sends a low ball in here towards Matthew Kelleher again. Matthew turns on his left-hand side, going forward for goal. Shortens the stick, puts it in, and puts it over the bar. Mm-hmm. Yes, the umpires were just confirming with one another. That's Matthew's second point from play, and it levels the game up here again for the sixth time in UPMC, Nolan Park, and we have a cracker here already on you. We certainly do. Another good score there by Matthew Kelleher. The ball just delivered in nice and low into him. First touch into his hands and just decides to take off there and you know look for the best option possible pop it over the bar and you know that's that's uh, leaving nothing between the two teams and we certainly have got a cracker of a game on hand here again a lovely little flick over there by Larry Murphy as you said the player he's, he's on fire at mm-hmm. the minute he's just doing everything simple just getting the little flicks and getting yeah. the ball away from the Dixborough players nothing fancy just nice simple hurling yeah exactly and that's it just keep it it's, it's, hurling's a simple game and you know there's no need for any of this fancy stuff you know just keep it nice and simple especially when you're a, you're a back don't want to put yourself under pressure but that's a good ball there and it's driving forward well there, by there by Michael Steins but back there too was Marty Murphy dispossessed him Murphy has the ball in hand good block there though down in the centre forward position three forwards around him Matthew Kelleher is coming away with it uh, Cahill Mooney is in there as well so too is the number 7 that's Padraig Dooley and Padraig Dooley now has ball in hand and is sending it up along the line here towards the Tullahar number 11 that's Ryan Murphy he has a point already to his name but it's dispossessed there 
by the number six. That's uh, Johnny Key, and Johnny is sending that one in, and Johnny yeah, is sending really it over the bar. What a score there by the centre back outside the Tulliher 65 metre line. All of I'd say 70, 75 yards on you. What a score by Johnny Keane. I actually think it was Sean Keenan that got that point there, the, the midfielder. Was it number nine? Yeah, no, the number eight there. Oh, Sean Keenan eight. got that, and I, he knew straight away after he'd hit it, it was going over the bar. He gave the little the fist up, and you know, Dixburg certainly riled up for this, but excellent score there for him. Um, you know, Tulliher fought so hard to get that ball out of the backs, but you know, only to come to the hands of Sean Keenan who pops it over the bar. You have Harry Shine is on this ball there, passing the ball over to to Killian Hackett who will distribute that ball in to the half forwards there of Conor Kavanagh. Conor Kavanagh pops that ball back out to um, can't see the uh, number no, there. That's dangerous. It was uh, Wide number ball. seven. Was it Tom McPhillips was over there? I think. Good call on the last one there by Sean Keenan. I thought it was the number six from here, but no, you were dead right. But it is Dixborough ahead here. Ten points to one six. Twenty three and a half minutes gone here in this first half as Andrew Murphy getting ready to send the ball down here again towards Marty Murphy. But what a fantastic catch there by Declan O'Farrell. Plucked that one out of the air. Sending it in here again to Matthew Kelleher who has a bit of space now on Cahal Mooney. Mooney does do very very well pushing him further out the field Kelleher still has it drops it down to the ground turns onto his right hand side mm-hmm. does it all on his own puts his fist up in the air three points from play Matthew Kelleher great score there for uh, the centre forward or the full forward he is now down there yeah really good score there by Matthew Kelleher um, you know I suppose Cahill, Cahill Mooney was just in a bit hard luck there at that time he just slipped at the last second you know he's put, he put an immense amount of pressure on him there you know that really is a titanic battle inside there with those two and I think if we keep an eye on it over the over the next um, 30 40 minutes I'm sure we're going to see some great pieces of skill yep great block down over the far sideline Connor Kavanagh had the ball in the hand but it was battered away there by Aidan Lawler over at the far side of the field and there will be a sideline ball over there to Sean Keenan who got a, a point moments ago there a lovely score out around the middle of the field he's getting ready he has a great sideline again it's another fantastic sideline aiming it up here again towards Matthew Kelleher who turns Cahill Mooney there's a foul coming here Mooney's after pulling him down and there will be a yellow card coming this time definitely to Cahill Mooney as Matthew Kelleher was away going forward to goal even though I know he had a long way to go but I think Gani that we're going to have the first yellow card of the afternoon here it is going to be Cahill Mooney and as we said earlier uh Tullaher are going to have to look at something mm-hmm. no actually he's just getting a, a warning there by Paul Cahill so uh, I think Cahill can find himself a bit lucky on that one he probably can I suppose it was probably a, a, a silly situation to give the free away and like you know he wasn't really too close in on goal I know he would have probably popped the ball over the bar for, uh, for a certain point but um, you know definitely you know he was so far out it probably was unnecessary you know you should be de- you should be able to depend on your two cornerbacks to get in there and defend as well for you so um, you know Cahill Mooney he can certainly count to himself lucky in that situation yeah, and Harry Shine converting his 7th point of the afternoon there as Marty Murphy is fouled again hand is being held Dixborough management not too happy with that decision down here in front of us but referee Paul Cahill as we said earlier from the John and Magan Club refereeing the county final here this afternoon assisted by John Welsh and Colin Tobin John from the Roar in the Steag and Colin from Young Ireland as Danny Glennon coming out here 1-4 already to his name can make this 1-5 Tullahar were ahead for moments uh, mm-hmm. of this game it has been tit tat but it's now 9 points to 12 in favour of the Dixborough men so Danny trying to reduce the margin here he's having a look it's sending it in yeah. towards the goal and it's straight That's over good. the black spot it's now 1-5 there for Danny Glennon it is 12 points to 1-7 26 and a half minutes gone and there's only 2 points in it only it's still anyone's game here it certainly is it's still anyone's game my only major concern here now is that I think Tullaher may be a little bit too reliant on Danny Glennon there um, you know he's seen uh, bar, uh, Jamie, bar Jamie and Ryan there he's, he's the only score that um, Tullaher really have on the scoreboard but I suppose you could probably say the same for Dixborough Sparrow Harry yeah, Shine sorry. as we look here Tom now. McPhillips yeah. is going forward with it he has support decides to go all in his own and that good was a score. good decision yep. yeah, I yeah. thought maybe he was after going too far and putting the ball wide but Tom backed himself all the way put it in put it over the bar it's now 13 points to 1-7 and again just like that Dixborough go ahead by 3 points as we come near to the half time whistle as uh, Andrew Murphy getting ready to send that ball out here again what a catch there but missed by Marty Murphy he almost had it in his hand he's gone down to ground there's a free 
coming here for a slight push in the back there by Killian Hackett, the team captain for Dixborough, and another chance here for Tullaher to go forward with Lar Murphy and to set up another attack going here as Lar directly on his own 65 meter line. He's a good way out from the goal as Marty Murphy is down on his uh, knees. Ball has been sent in around the house here, but it's been dealt with in there by the Dixborough full back line. There's a trip there on the number two, Fionn McGarry, who was coming away with that ball and an easy decision there by Paul Cahill as that ball is uh, sent in there dangerously. Dealt with though by the cornerback, Fionn McGarry, and Dixborough now has a chance to relieve their back lines with Michael Clark, goalkeeper for Dixborough. In fairness, both goalkeepers really hasn't had any mm-hmm. test at all in this game yet point scoring has been fantastic from both teams as that ball is sent down towards the Dixborough full forward that is Declan O'Farrell but doesn't get to him Michael Stein so will come on to the breaking ball and that's looking good for him yeah, here it is absolutely. that's the two wing backs who are now on the scoreboard for Dixborough and Dixborough are after opening up a gap here now mm-hmm. in UPMC Nolan Park in this minor A county final 14 points Dixborough 1-7 to Tullaher and it's been a while now only since Tullaher has really you know, put anything in on the Dixborough goal in there. They're getting a couple of frees, but they're not really making any inroads. Yeah, certainly, and I suppose that's probably the difference between themselves and, and Dixborough. You know, you've, you've the likes of your two halfbacks, they're able to pop up there and throw over a few scores, and their forwards are working tirelessly hard there, and I suppose that's the difference, really. And, and I do, as I said before, I do fear that it. it told her a little bit too reliant on Danny Glennon yeah, and side. speaking of him that ball is sent in there towards Danny Glennon he's isolated he's after getting around the uh, full back in there Mick Carroll but he slips on the ground ball is with Tull- or with uh, Dixborough I should say it's overturned but sent out there great catch out of the sky there by Jamie Ling who does a little over the back kind of a shot didn't work out that time for him hard to know what he was trying to do there but again it's sent down here and it's going to be picked up here by Harry Shine. No. but good play there by Lara Murphy who dispossesses him and sends it up but that's a way or pass out towards Killian Hackett Killian has the ball now in hands taking a look around sending it down into the full forward position but there's nobody there for Dixborough Cahal Mooney is there for Tullerher he's coming away with it evades two Dixborough players on his way out sends it up here towards Marty Murphy Marty puts up the big hand doesn't come to him though it'll break here though towards the number 11 that is Ryan Murphy great block down around the middle of the field here by Dixborough full back the hurl was dropped there mm-hmm. but referee says let play continue New ball sent in again towards Danny Glennon. Danny Glennon, here's a oh. chance here. There's a foul coming for a pullback. That's Niall uh, Mooney was going forward on goal. Again, I think uh, the other fullback this time, Mick Carroll, is going to be in trouble. That's <laughs> the two fullbacks now um, are after having a, a talking to. And we're just looking. And yes, actually, Paul Cahill has produced a yellow card this time for Mick Carroll. Just on the stroke of half time here in the first half. And a chance here for Tullaher to get another point on the scoreboard. Just before half time and reduce the margins even further. 14 points, Dixborough, 1 7 to Tullaher at the minute. Now make that 1 point to 8. It's now a goal and 3 and 2 of 5, a goal and 6 points for Danny Glennon. And as you said earlier, they're really relying on Danny too much in the full forward line there. They certainly are, and I suppose that the, the, it's the space inside there, and they're really drawing up their own half forward line and trying to leave it one on one in there. And I suppose one on one, he does probably have the better of Mick Carl there, as that's a great pull along the ground uh, there by the number. Number eight, Sean Keenan there. Yeah, and there's um, a foul coming here for Declan O'Farrell for a pullback, as you said. We don't see too much ground hurling nowadays no. in the game, which is sad to see because mm-hmm. the pitch is in immaculate condition here. Fair play to John Coogan and to Kevin McGarry for having the uh, pitch in such great condition with all the games as after being played here so far. They really keep it in tip-top shape and they haven't won grounds uh, of the year with the last, I think, just three years in a row now that they've done it. So great credit to the lads here and all the staff in UPMC, no one Park as Harry Shine gets ready to put this ball in. It's looking yeah. good from here. Umpires are taking a look, and it is indeed. That is now, I think it's eight points, is it on you? Um, Harry Shine, that's yeah, eight uh, points. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, eight points there on the board for him. Probably a little bit quieter in this 15 than he was in the first 15, you know, with his scores, his three scores um, in this uh, 15 only coming from freeze. Um, but yeah, still, still a good uh, overturn there for Harry Shine. And he definitely is the go to man for Dixborough at the moment. And it looks like referee is calling for half time here as we're looking yes. at 1 8 to 15 points in favour of Dixborough. Following today's game, the it is indeed a half time here. Paul Cahill, our match referee from John Megan, has said enough is enough here. In the first half, Dixborough are ahead 15 points to 1 8. Really, it has been a great first half.
course, this broadcast today is brought to you with thanks to UPMC, Autiven Hospital, delivering life-changing medicine and trusted care close to home. And we are back underway here for the second half of this minor A county final. And we have a change on the Dixborough team at halftime too. Number 20, Mikey Raggett is replacing number 13, Billy Fitzpatrick. And already Mikey is going forward and putting it in and putting it over the bar. A great substitution there for the Dixborough team. And already Mikey is only on the field with 23 seconds and he has his name on the board on you. Yeah, really good score. First ball straight into him. Went to take on his player. To be fair there now to JJ Ryan. He did try to hold him out. What another brilliant catch there by Marty Murphy there. Excellent fielding as he's going to start taking on his player there. Good little uh, pass over uh, there to uh, Jack Hendrick and back out again there to Marty Murphy. Yeah. there though. Yeah, by Jack Hendrick. Yeah, Marty still has the ball again. 1-2 going on between himself and uh, Jack Hendrick there. Ball is out over towards the sideline. That's dangerous in there towards Danny Glennon. Oh, they've gotten one another's way there. Tullerher did pull on the ground. First time might make its way here to Danny Glennon again. But so back there too is Mick Carroll. Can Dixborough deal with it? Yes, they can is the answer. Out comes Killian Hackett with the ball and Killian clearing it. That was a great chance there for uh, Tullerher. We'll go back to that in a moment's time. But Dixborough are coming on the attack here again. But it's intercepted there by Padraig Dooley out around the middle of the field. Good play there by the Tullerher man. He's fouled coming out and Tullerher after winning a free. Great play there by the wing back but only that was a great chance down there at the O'Loughlin end of the field ball could have broke Danny Glennon mm-hmm. but two or three taller her players got in one another's way yeah that's it like they just you know I suppose none of them were calling for the ball there and if they had to leave it to Danny Glennon it most certainly was going to be a goal he was right in front of it a uh, good cross field ball over there by uh, Jack Hendrick but as we mentioned before that probably a little bit overplaying from the two of them you know if you're heading towards the goal don't put it back out over to the to the sideline there you know keep the head down and well, keep going you're making things difficult on yourself yeah. and that ball is sent in by Lar Murphy and it's sent in and wide and that is three wides now for Tullerher four wides to Dixborough in the first half as the ball is sent out here by Andrew Murphy it's sent down towards the middle of the field there it's kicked along the ground there by Connor Kavanagh Connor trying to get to it but uh, Tullerher dealing with that very very well over there the far side that's uh, Podrick Dooley Podrick sending it here what a shoulder there by the number nine for Dixborough that's Killian Hackett and Cahal Mooney no one flinched for it that ball is going where's it going it's going in and right. it's going to the right and it's gone wide so two quick wides in succession there for the taller her men they are playing with the aid of a slight breeze as that ball is sent out there towards Mikey Raggett Mikey coming out around the middle of the field gathers that ball lovely tries to cross field it over there towards the Dixborough number 10 that's Connor Kavanagh but it's intercepted by taller her Ross Birkin coming forward with it ball is in here now towards Danny Glennon Glennon coming for it the ball is uh, with the Dixborough number uh, 5 that's Michael Steins over there there's a hurl flying in here from the sideline into one of the Dixborough fellas as Harry Shine puts that ball in. It won't reach his intended target though. Tolliher trying to get down on the ball. Aidan Lawler is over here, very close to the sideline. Sending it down. Marty Murphy has it in his hand without even looking. Sending it down. That could go wide. It could drop to Danny Glennon. It will drop to Glennon. Glennon is here having a look around. Turns on his left hand side. Puts it in. Shakes a oh. shot. Great save there by Michael Clark in the goal. Might work out here for Jack Hendrick who goes for it and the ball is out and it's gone wide. That was another great chance there by uh, Danny Glennon who maybe could have rounded Mick Carroll who was already on the yellow card and maybe took the penalty and got a goal but great save by Michael. Clark. Yeah, because definitely Michael Clark was kind of off balance there when he had to kind of pull off that save, uh, that save there. So if Declan Glennon had it kind of maybe taken it around and went a little bit more towards the goal, it would, most certainly would have been um, a, a great goal opportunity and, and certainly you would have to back Danny Glennon in that situation. Yeah, the St. Canis' Credit Union Senior Hurling uh, Championship first rounds are continuing as that ball is thrown up there. The latest score that we have is O'Loughlin Gales, 114. The roar in the steeg, 8 points. So O'Loughlin Gales are running away with that one at the minute we'll try and find a time on that shortly but Dixborough have a free here and it's been taken by Mick Carroll Mick is sending it up here towards uh, Matthew Kelleher who got three points to his name in the first half very close out there to the sideline that it's ball scored. is put in and it's put over the bar and I think that was Sean Keenan with the red helmet over at the far side of the field he's running out and I could be wrong on you but I thought myself it was Sean
won. I thought it was Matthew Kelleher that actually got that point there, that he went out so far over to the end line and got a great little touch up into the hurl and straight over the bar from a tight angle. Um, now, I could be wrong on that. You no, know, you're right, yeah. We've just confirmed it here with Shane Cavanagh, the secretary for Dixborough is here beside us. He's doing tweets, so Shane is uh, confirming your prediction there. So a good score there by Matthew Kelleher. That ball is in. It's dealt with there by um, Michael Clark in the goal, sending it forward down here towards the number 15. That's Kyle Maher. Haven't seen too much of Kyle in the first half. He's on the ball. Puts it back here towards Harry Shine. Henry sending a lovely crossfield ball in here towards Matthew Kelleher. Matthew fumbles the ball first. Cahal Mooney is there beside him. Kicks it along the ground. He has support over there now too with Podrick Dooley. And Podrick has fouled again as he was coming out. Good play there by the wing back. Got back to help his full back on you. Mm-hmm. And the two Tullahor men working very well. Working very, very well there. That's a really good free out. And I suppose a free a free out that they really needed at this time. Because, you know, you don't want to see Dixburg get on a run. Um, you know, they're after popping up some excellent scores there. They're 17 points to 1-8 now. And you can kind of see that they're starting to, to put a, a little bit of distance between themselves and the Tullahor men. men. Yeah, it is indeed. 17 points to Dixburg. 1-8 to Tullahor. 35 and a half minutes gone here in the Kilkenny Honda Centre Minor A. Hurling County Final. As that ball is pulled along the ground twice. And someone from Dixburg try to put a leg in I wouldn't be putting my leg mm-hmm. in where that hurl was being pulled anyway but here comes Sean Keenan with the ball soloing down along the order on Bernock side of the field none of the Tullahar men can get him off the hurl That'll if that goes over score. it's a great score but it's going to tail off to the left and wide Dixborough's first wide of the second half five in total and it is a half time in Thomastown in that uh, St. Canice's senior hurling uh, game it is Old Auckland Gays 114 and the Roar and the now 9 points so that's a half time score as we still continue on here. Lar Murphy batted down there by the uh, centre midfield player was it I think it was Sean Keenan but it's dispossessed over there Cahill Mooney has it sending it down along the fields down here towards the number 13 that's Jack Hendrick Jack is on he's pushed in the back I was going to say he slipped on the ground but referee Paul Cahill has decided that there is a free and a chance here for Danny Glennon to get Tullahurst Ross Birkins first score of the second half here we are almost seven minutes in and they haven't scored yes uh, to my knowledge anyway no. they haven't so uh, a chance to reduce the margin the sun is trying to appear back out again here in Northern Park the breeze has picked up ever so slightly as well as we look at the tricolour it is blowing into the old Auckland's end Danny has that with him he sends it in but again Wide. that's a bad miss and mm. the wides are now uh, accumulating for Tullahar only six in total yeah they certainly are and that was a bad miss there for, for Danny Glenn and it's a score that you know Tullahar definitely need to really settle themselves there especially after half time as we see a mighty puck out coming there from Michael Clark down and just batted back there by the Tullahar men and it's going to be a race on between um, Mick Carl, but no, it's Tuller. Yeah, Ryan recommend. Murphy has it. Ryan has a look. He's sending it in, but that's a wayward chance. He mm-hmm. never really caught hold of that or looked at the post. And it's now seven wides. And really, I know we're saying that Danny has to do, or he's the playmaker, and they're depending too yeah. much on him. But like they can't make him do much when no. they're hitting balls like that into him. But no. Tullahar are also making a sub here as well. It looks We're like it's 21 Dean Kinsler that's coming onto the field to play. And it looks like it's 15 Sean Ryan that seems to be coming off there. If we could it is just, Sean, yeah, yeah. Just get a bit of confirmation there if we have somebody that could do it for us. But it certainly looks like it is Sean Ryan and Dean Kinsler coming into the fray. Yeah, no, you're dead right. It is Dean Kinsler replacing Sean Ryan there for Tullahar. Sean will be disappointed to be coming off, but he has played his part as much as he can in this game and Dean Kinsella will be looking to get a foothold in this now and try and get uh, Tullahar back and going as we just look over the far side of the field over there and Sean Keenan is down on the ground receiving a, a bit of attention as well he's uh, throwing the helmet down on the ground does it look like this he won't be able to continue or maybe he is no he is he's putting the helmet back on him again he's getting ready to go and Michael Clark is having a look around Son directly into his eyes as he winds up and hits the ball out and it's going to hit towards Marty Murphy oh what a catcher he just stood on the ground put up the big paw and caught the ball in his hand what a fantastic mm-hmm. score he now has a free as well and Paul Cahill is calling over Michael Steins over to him and it's going to be yellow a card. yellow card for the wing back as well for that challenge so Michael Steins and Mick Carroll both men for uh, Dixborough now after being booked as well so they need to be careful mm-hmm. but more importantly it is a free here to Larry Murphy just barely inside the Dixborough 65 metre line they need a shot that's not looking good from here never no. look confident with that one at all and it's now 8 wides to the men from down south in Tullahar and uh 
that's, that's really disappointing I suppose from their point of view certainly it's disappointing I suppose you know they're working so hard and just for things like that to be going against them it can be frustrating from a player's point of view as well and you know Tuller really need to score just to settle them because you know Dixborough everything kind of seems to be going in Dixborough's favour as we look here Sean, Sean Keenan, Keenan no he hurl, no he's hurl, he's he's playing going. football here in UPMC Nolan Park we don't see that too often here but that's out of the hurl off Matthew Kelleher mm-hmm. there's not much more he could do with it no. like I mean if you saw that out in uh Dean Celtic or any of them like to be very happy I mean Shane O'Keefe will be very happy to have a Sean Ka- or a Keenan on his team there but I think Sean will stick to the hurling as we look at the play here that ball is sent in there by uh, Ryan Murphy it's a good ball in towards Danny Glennon Glennon didn't get the ball into his hand first time tries to pick it the second time doesn't work out but it's still down around the D there and it's still danger for Dixborough they're pushing the Tullaher men out even further the ball now squirms out here past the 45 metre line and running onto it is the number 8 over there that's Jamie Ling but away we're passing and it's dealt very easily there by Johnny Keenan uh, Keen, I should say Johnny sending it up here towards Matthew Kelleher but uh, Cahill Mooney doing very very well got a slight little touch on it Matthew is fighting away for the ball so too is Podrick Dooley over there and the number 10 that is uh, Connor Kavanagh for Dixborough Dixborough coming away with it Kelleher has a lovely hand pass out the side door here's Mikey oh. Raggett going forward there's an overlap here for Dixborough but again good play there by the Tullaher men mm-hmm. they didn't give away possession they didn't give away a foul and they are after now getting the foul themselves Lar Murphy is going to take it he's driving it forward into uh, Ma- that is Ryan Murphy that's here Ryan now going away has support over the far side has support on the inside going forward to here is Dean Kinsella who was brought on a couple of moments ago takes a little look around puts it back out here again towards Ryan Murphy Murphy is putting it in sending it in and putting it over the bar that's a good one too there by the substitution Dean Kinsella and the centre forward Ryan Murphy and it's a score that Tullaher Ross Barker needed all so badly 17 points Dixborough 1-9 Tullaher yeah really good score there for uh, Tullaher Ross Barker and all really well worked from their defence point of view they put savage pressure onto Dixborough there and you know Dean Kinsella getting in on the action there and, and a great um, pop over point there by Ryan Murphy and that'll certainly settle Dicks for as we see Danny Glenn has come way out the field and he's, he's going forward yeah, he's, he's going. past the 40 he's point got, he's got something he inside he wants to go with it and going it's going it's in and it's over the bar a good score there by Danny Glennon he went all the way himself put it in off the hurl and that is in and over the bar that's his first score of the second half and it's 1-7 in total for Danny Glennon and it's now 13 points to 17 as we look down here in front of us Dixborough are making a couple of substitutions number Number 17, that's Kevin Moore, is going to replace... Who is the question? It looks like it's Kyle Mar that's going to be making way here, is it? Yeah. It looks that way, yep. So Kevin Moore, the number 17, is in. And Anya has confirmed that. So a substitution there for Dixborough. They're making another one here now shortly. But what a great catch there by Lar Murphy. The crowd really enjoyed that one. He's going for the score himself. If this goes over, it's some score. score. What a score, Lar Murphy. All the way out on his own 65 metre line. Puts the ball in and puts it over the bar. What an inspiration score by the centre back great score there by Larry Murphy you see Mark Bergens down in front of us who's you know the, the new minor manager and even he had to kind of say that that was a great score as well what a score and what that's really going to lift Tullaher Ross Birkin there and you know the men from Tullaher certainly not bowing down here and they're throwing everything at this Dicks for a team as we see that's a great block down here um, you get, you get Tullaher Ross Birkin back on there by yeah. Matthew Murphy but Paul Cahill is playing on and now the things are heating up here in UPMC Nolan Park ball is out over the sideline Colin Tobin is having uh, words there with some of the Dixborough management he has his hand up because I think there's going to be a substitution there is indeed and it is the number 28 and that is Evan Murphy who is going to replace I think it's Fionn McCarthy with the red helmet over at the far side yeah, it looks like yep. it's John McGarry that's coming off there. Um, you know, and you know, he suppose he's going in and uh, the new substitutes going in on top of each other. Dean Kinsley says he's got to get on one ball, but he's showing that he's got great pace there. This ball has popped over. If I can get to Danny Glennam, oh no, it won't. It's a great catch there. Boy, Mick Carlo done very well. Pick that one out of the sky. Gets it to Killian Hackett. Killian skews the shot though a little bit taller. Her, trying to run onto it, but that's missed there by Podrick Dooley. And uh, Mikey Ragger has it, sending it out here to Declan O'Farrell. Hand passing it in here to the number 12 shot stopped on the line there by uh, Andrew Murphy that was Matthew Kelleher who was there ball is still down around the Dixborough full forward line Kelleher comes out with it again takes a look around puts it out that's a way we're passing it'll only come as far as Marty Murphy who was back there 
sends the ball long down towards Danny Glennon and Dean Kinsella. Kinsella is fighting down there with the newly introduced substitute that is Evan Murphy and the ball is coming away here with Killian Hackett things are spicing up nicely here ball over the far side of the field that's a foul referee playing an advantage no advantage as a free to Tullaher over there on the or on the grass side of the field and Tullaher are really up now for this uh, second half 44 and a half minutes gone One eleven to Tullaher that's a total of 14 points Dixborough 17 points they're in their fourth county final in a row they're going for three in a row the only blip on the line was the last two Moonkind they are coming for it as this ball is sent in here by Lar Murphy in around the house the sun is in there big Marty Murphy is in there batted out though by Michael Clark he done very well with that ball is down on the 20 metre line Dixborough coming away with it but it's not cleared and it might break here towards Dean Kinsella Dean has it turns on his right hand side again half block down has a second chance over the shoulder puts it in it's actually Danny Glennon that's a great score there by the full forward he done it all himself put the ball in over his shoulder and uh, referee Paul Cahill is calling time here for the water break 112 Tullaher 17 points Dixborough 2 points in and on you were in for a classic oh. something to say about that and so too will full forward and team captain Danny Glennon what an outstanding score there just before the water break as Paul Cahill says to Michael Clark right let's go game on last 15 minutes here in this game it's anyone's game only 2 points in it ball is sent out around what a great catch down there by Tom McPhillips he's going forward again already has a point to his name bursting forward for the goal sends it out here towards the number 17 on the far side that is Kevin Moore that's a great block down though the hurl has gone in half he won't mind that's the taller her player as Cahill Mooney comes away with it bursting out from the defence sending it out there's an advantage coming to Cahill as well no advantage coming on the far sideline Dixborough are perplexed to know what that decision was for but Cahill Mooney doesn't care he has the free and he's won it back in his own 20 metre line and another chance here for Tullaher as John Welsh goes out just to place where the free was awarded in the first place John enjoying the bit of sunshine, although he's now going into the shade of Ordon de Grosse over there. The stand is uh, starting to come out and put a bit of shade on that side of the field. Sunshine is lovely over here in Ordon Bernock, <laughs> as Lar Murphy is definitely after stealing a couple of yards. John Welch is telling him to get back, and as any uh, free taker does, he's going to wait till John turns his back and he's going to gain another couple of yards. So, fair play to Lar if he can get away with it. Why not? Ball is sent down this time, sent down towards the number 13, that is Jack Hendrick. It's one over at the far side there by the uh, the full f- or the centre forward, oh, that's Roy ball. Murphy, but it's a bad ball dealt with there by Killian Hackett. Killian sends it up here towards the number 20 that came on that was indeed uh, Mikey Raggett Mikey misplaces that one though it's sent back down towards Dean Kinsler Dean now has a chance over the far side fighting over there with Evan Murphy looks like Dean has been held but he goes forward with the ball good interception there though by the uh, number 9 that's Killian Hackett but it breaks out here towards the number 10 Marty or it's not Marty Murphy it's Niall Mooney has the ball over there at the far sideline He's having a look around. Linesman is very close to the action. Says the ball is not out. Johnny Keane deals with it. Sends it to Killian Hackett. Hackett puts it out here to Sean Keane and his midfield partner. Having a look around. He's sending the ball up here towards the uh, corner forward position. Tolliher dealing with it very well. That's the number 11. That's Harry Shine is down there. Harry is lying on the ball. I think that's a good decision. Yeah, by yeah, Paul Cal, yeah. He was stopping the players from getting to the ball. As we look around and Sean Keenan is down. Pulling up with what looks like... Uh, cramp or maybe he's after doing a bit more damage to his knee but the team physio is out dealing with that injury there to Sean Keenan Tolliher really up for it we can see Wally Welch is down here in front of us Onion Mm -hmm. he's up on his feet as well he's trying to get his lads going he knows himself this game is there for the take and still and if Tolliher can get a couple of more scores on the board on you they're going to make dicks for I think about things and you know what to be fair like I suppose Tullerher Ross Bergen probably need this more than Dicks for a do and there'll be a huge lift for Tuller Ross Bergen for the club in general. Um, you know, what a great title as we see the ball has been driven in here. Looks like it's going to go wide. Oh it's not it's kept in, it's kept in. It's a goal, it's a goal! It's yeah, added in the confusion. Now Paul Cahill is going in, the umpire on the white flag is pointing over for the ball to be put in. Marty uh, Marty Murphy put up the hurl in fairness down there and the ball bounced out and the umpire on the white flag pointed over to the fellow with the green flag to put it up and it is going to stand he's taking his book out it is a goal yeah, for Tullaher it is a goal 
Yes, Tonaher now confirming it. It's now 2-12 to Tonaher. 18 points, 17 points to Dixborough. Dixborough are not happy no. because Sean Keenan was down on the ground getting attention. But in fairness to Paul Cahill, it wasn't a head injury and he's entitled for the play to continue as number 23, Christy Murphy, is now in replacing Sean Keenan. And now we have another game on here as Tonaher now have their tails up and are fighting away as there's a pull of a jersey though there. Oh, by Lara Murphy on Killian Hackett team captain of course and there's a chance here for Harry Shine to come out he's outside the Tullahar 65 metre line and a chance for things to level up here again it will be the seventh time as Tullahar getting ready to bring on another substitution here it's uh, number 16. 16 Finn Kelly looks like to be coming into the, into the game of play there and it looks like that is number 13, 13. Jack, Jake Hen- Jack Hendrick yep. is coming off the field there um, yeah so Tullahar really starting to empty the bench here get some fresh legs in there Dixborough I suppose uh, Sean Keenan is going to be a massive loss he's a fierce engine there uh, for them and he's running up and down the sideline here to trying to get back into the game and play but you know what he's, he's not going well it doesn't look like he's going he's still hobbling along there um, Harry Shine just got that point by the way so that is a, another free to himself and the teams are level here at 18 points apiece 18 Dixborough 2 12 Tullaher and teams level 7 times 50 minutes gone here 10 minutes plus stoppages to go as here comes Declan O'Farrell racing through the Tullaher defence, he's going through, shortens the hurl, puts it in and just like that Dixborough go ahead again with Declan O'Farrell, second point of the afternoon, 19 points, Dixborough 2-12 to Tullahar, no you, you can't take your eyes off this for one minute No you absolutely can't, it's, you know we really are in for a cracker of the last 10 minutes here and both teams are really fighting for this and you know Tullahar Ross Burke and are throwing everything at Dixborough there, and, you know that game is really after setting this game alight as you look at the Marky Marky Murphy, Murphy yeah there's a foul here. Coming here again for a, a wild slap there by the number 17 there that's just uh, come on a short time ago that's Kevin Moore and a silly free to be given away because Danny Glennon will come out he did miss two chances I mean if you imagine the chances they actually yeah. missed in the first half Tullaher could be leading this game fairly comfortably and asking a lot of questions of Dixborough mm-hmm. as it is Dixborough are a point ahead just by one 19 points to 2-12 and Danny Glennon has his chance to get his uh, what 6-2 this will be 1-9 for Danny Glennon if he puts this one over he's well outside the Dixborough 45 metre line he's putting it in but that's looking great from here oh it's not no, no. it just God. managed to tail I thought actually that it was going to just curl inside the left hand post but it didn't it's gone wide and it's 9 wide for Tullahar so Dixborough are still a point ahead who knows we could have a draw here in UPMC Nolan Park here we go ball is back out again and it's with uh, Jamie Ling out around the middle of the field there a great block down there by Mikey or it's not it's the number 23 actually that's Christy Murphy who come on ball is in here towards uh, Matthew Kelleher or Harry Shine as Harry Shine is actually on the ball now turns the Tullaher defence goes through there's an advantage coming is there no Paul no. Cahill just has his son out of his eyes ball is back here again with the Dixborough fellas puts it in towards Mikey oh, Raggett Jesus. in comes Harry Shine on to it, he's upended going in referee says play on, Cahal Mooney coming away with it, he's still saying to play on, ball is out around the sideline over here, it's half blocked down as uh, Mikey Sines is trying to run onto that one, gets the ball into his hand, tries to put it in, it's deflected, comes here to the number 17 that right. is uh, Kevin Moore and the two umpires are saying to one another that that's a wide ball, it's gone out it's now six wides to Dixborough, we still as we are a couple of moments ago 19 points Dixborough, 2-12 Tonahar Ross Berkin, 52 and a half minutes gone here in the Kilkenny Honda Centre Minor A Hurling County Final as we said Dixborough going for a title 13 what a catch out around the middle of the field there by uh, Matthew Kelleher is it Matthew like, yeah, gone, gone out, yeah. out yeah and looks like Harry Shine is, has been sent in there to the edge advantage square. coming Harry has the ball he's going forward on goal has a chance that is over the bar I think one umpire saying it's mm. over yes they are giving it and again that was Harry Shine that put that ball over the bar for his 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 10th point of the afternoon as Paul Cahill flashes a yellow card eventually to Cahill Mooney that was down on the ground limping and the ball is still in play here with uh, Tullaher Tullaher trying to get the ball going forward Dixborough not hanging around ball is over there with uh, a couple of players 
for Dixburg. Killian Hackett is coming away. He's on to the breaking ball. Going forward to the 65 metre line. Takes a look around. Sending it in here towards Harry Shine. Ball doesn't bounce kindly. But oh, here's Declan just... O'Farr running for it. Harry Shine missed it as well. And Tullerher can count themselves. Lucky on that one. Ball is sent in here now towards Ryan Murphy. Needs to get it into his hands. Flick it out the back door towards... Uh, one of his uh, partners over there, that's Niall Mooney with the red helmet. Niall still has possession, but it's not a great ball in towards Dean Kinsler, no. putting Kinsler under an awful lot of pressure. He does very well, though. Puts it here out the side door towards, uh, that is Jamie Ling is over there, I think. But the it's ball Ryan is sent, Murphy. Is it Ryan Murphy? Ryan Murphy yeah. sent forward, ball is sent in there to Danny Glennon. Look, that, that looks like a push. Free. Yes, yeah, it is. Yes. Dicks were not happy, but the referee is now calling someone for saying something to him, and it's going to be a, another yellow card. It's who is he going to call? Is the question? Is it the number seven? It's hard to know. There's five or six players there. He has brandished a yellow card to someone. I'm not going to say who it is because I don't know. Um, is the simple answer. There was too many Dixborough players around, but someone has been booked, and Danny Glennon has a chance to reduce the margin to one point again here, as he is just outside the 20-metre line with 50 coming up to 55 minutes gone here. This will push only the one score, one point. He hits it. He puts it in, and he puts it over the bar. That is now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, a goal and 9 points I make it for Danny Glennon and there's only 1 point in it. 20 points Dixborough, 2, 13, Tullerher Ross Berkin, 55 minutes and 20 seconds gone in the game as the ball is sent out here towards Dixborough by Mikey Clark. Great catch there by the number 7, Tom McLeod, but it's blocked down there by, uh, is it Marty Murphy is out around but it's dispossessed again. Sent ball in, in here towards now. Harry Shine, but our Tullerher are dealing with it. They're, they're, they're not actually. The referee says there's a chop in there by Cahill Mooney. He looks a bit perplexed by the decision, but the John Magan official has decided that there is a foul in there and an easy chance again for Harry Shine to extend his uh, tally even further. It's an easy one directly in front of the post for him, and this will put Dixborough to 21 points, two points ahead with only five minutes plus to go on the clock. And he goes a bit low with it, but it doesn't matter. He puts it in. It's his third point of the second half. It's 11 points in total for Harry Shine and Anya with four minutes to go anything can happen we see what happened the last time there was two points in it mm-hmm. Tullerher got a goal we're a point ahead it's still anyone's game here it certainly is this is by no means over as we look here Dick Spurs seem to have a player down um, on the down on injured there and the team medic is in having a little little look at it it looks like it's Declan O'Farrell that's in there um, having a look there at the number 7 uh, Tom McPhillips and that ball is going back down there to Andrew Murphy for the puck out to restart this game again a big massive long puck out heading down hitting towards Marty Murphy that's who looks to be aiming towards and that would have been a great catch as we see here broken got though, yeah, yeah that's a that was surely, yep. yep. Jamie Ling is being held back there. He's still being held back there. He's do well now just to drop the ball down. Colin Tobin is in there trying to push Mikey Raggett, the number 20 for Dixborough, out of the way as they're waiting for Danny Glennon again to come out and take this one. There's no fourth official over on the far side today, so we don't actually know how much injury time is going to be here in UPMC Nolan Park. I see Seamus Reid is uh, down there. Seamus, of course, the event controller, trying to get the attention of Colin Tobin see if he can find out how much additional time is going to be added but for the minute Danny Glennon is here he's inside the Dixborough 65 metre line he can get this over the bar if possible and reduce the margin just to a single point again it's going to wide. tail is it no oh, he's got it this time yep, he's, he's got, got it by Danny time. Glennon that's an excellent of what a pressure uh, pressure free that was there for him he missed the one a couple of moments go excellent free there for him to reduce the, the margin down to one point and we seriously are in for a ding dong last five minutes I'd say including injury time I would imagine is what we have left in this game Mikey Clark sending it out what a catch, catch out around the middle of the field there by Padraig Dooley puts the ball in front of him he's going forward sends the ball low in here towards Danny Glennon there's a Huge collision in yeah. around there. The referee has stopped the play for the moment. Dixborough are not happy. Now, it was a fairness, and he's saying it's a head injury. There was a big collision there between uh, Danny Glennon and I think it was Nathan Pollard, the number four, that was down there. Nothing malicious in it at all at all. The uh, the Tullerher player is outstretched on the ground. Pat Hartley is giving out but in fairness there was nothing in that whatsoever the two players were just going for that ball it was just an unfortunate collision Hartley is giving it to 
Paul Cahill down there. I think he do well now just to move away out of it because there was nothing there in fairness. Just two players going for the ball and Danny Glennon unfortunately has come out the worst of it. Nathan Pollard is hobbling down there as well. Good play I think though by the match referee safety. Paramount when it comes to these kind of things and if he thinks it's a head injury he has to stop the play immediately and the clock is still ticking down. We are in the 59th minute. It's a cracker of a county final here in UPMC. Nolan Park this game was brought to you with thanks to UPMC or even Hospital delivering life changing medicine and trusted care close to home and Danny Glennon is now back up on his feet and he's putting back on the helmet on him and Dixborough will have the in direct free out here because they were in possession with the ball sent down here towards Harry Shine won't work might come here to Mikey Raggett he has the ball in hand taking a look around sending the ball in around the full forward in there that's in there towards Kevin Moore but it's been dealt with over there by Tullaher but it's a misplaced hand pass over there Patrick Dooley might get it again it's uh Aidan Lawler I think that did get it but that's a, a bad pass out of the defence there only as far as the team captain for Dixborough Killian Hackett he puts it in here to Harry Shine Harry sends a lovely cross field ball over here towards uh, Matthew Kelleher turns on his left hand side it's half blocked down though it might work out here with Declan O'Farrell he breaks onto the breaking ball Dixborough looking for the free it's in it's out over the shoulder by Kevin Moore and it's put in it's put over the bar there by the substitute who came on and it extends the lead out even further 214 20 points to Tullaher 22 points to Dixborough there's still only two points in it though Anya and we're ticking in the 60th minute so it's now up to referee Paul Cahill how much injury time is left Dixborough claiming the ball is picked off the ground Mikey Welch is going ballistic down here on the sideline but it'll work here towards Dixborough's advantage Killian Hackett has the ball coming away with it can't catch it again scoops the ball forward out here towards Declan O'Farrell lovely pick up there by Declan but he sends a terrible pass across to Mikey Raggett Tell her coming away with it going forward. There's an like advantage it. coming here for Cottle Mooney. Mooney. Yeah. What a run there by Cottle Mooney. He's after coming up from full back and he's after winning to tell her a free just between the 65 and the 45 metre lines. And again, Danny Glennon is coming out to take it he can reduce the margin even further just to again one point we don't know how much injury time is in it 61 minutes gone here currently 22 points to Dixborough 2.14 to Tullaher it could soon be 2.15 we don't know we could have extra time here God only knows we could have a replay but that ball is sent in it's good for Danny Glennon it's straight in and it's straight over the black spot one point in it again Mickey Welsh getting nervous down here (laughs) in front of us Wally is out shouting at the sideline giving instructions to some of his uh, fellow club men down there to try and get someone in a position what a catch out in the middle of the field though by Kevin Moore by Dixborough he's sending the ball up here towards Declan O'Farrell ball is into space though won't reach Declan O'Farrell dealt with by Tullaher he's returned with interest down here to Fionn Kelly Fionn might run onto the ball kicks it ahead of him a little bit too far maybe yeah. it is indeed and Mike, uh, Mick Carroll is going to deal with that but it's battered away by Marty Murphy again down around on the sideline Nathan Potter gets it returns it with huge interest down towards Harry Shine will might get it at the second attempt there's two Tullerher players down there there's now three Tullerher players down there there's now a scrap ensuing for the ball Harry Shine comes away with it throws himself yeah. down to the ground that's good play there by the referee didn't fall for that one Harry was trying to win the free as there was a late tackle Dangerous. coming in here Dangerous. Mikey Ragger can come good play there by Andrew Murphy ball is here it's in around the square who has it Dixborough has it Tullerher has it no they haven't it's cleared out don't ask me how the hell it's cleared out of there Mikey Welsh is asking questions as well well, but Marty Murphy has it he has the ball in hand sending it down here towards Danny Glennon Danny is running out towards the ball sending it on the hurl he has a chance here to level things up in UPMC Nolan Park that's blocked out will it go for a 65 no it won't it won't reach the line Paul Cahill blows it it's all over it's all over here in UPMC Nolan Park Mickey Welsh falls to his knees down here right in front of us heartbreak for Tullaher Ross Burkett 22 points to 215 is 21 a one point loss from the men for Tullaher Ross Burkett and Anya what can you say what a fantastic game of hurling oh what a brilliant game what a brilliant finish to uh, finish to uh, an absolutely enthralling highly entertaining minor A hurling championship final uh 
congratulations to Dix for uh, you know they they just kept on going away at it. 22 points scored on the board. You know uh, it, you know if any team can score 22 points, going to say it'd be hard to beat. But your heart would have to go out to Tuller her Ross for oh, believe. Thank you. 